Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we'll be answering the commonly asked question of why is it called onion on the dark web? You've probably heard of the dark web before, but do you know how much it varies from the normal web? Well, today we're going to delve deeper and find out. So if you're curious about the dark web and want to learn more about why it's called onion, stick around and let's dive into the fascinating world of online anonymity and encryption. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. So first things first, the dark web is a part of the internet that is not accessible through regular search engine like Google or Bing. Instead, it requires special software such as Tor to access it. This anonymity is what makes the dark web so appealing, which attracts certain individuals to use it for various purposes. Now to understand why it's called Onion on the dark web, we need to understand the Tor hidden server protocol. Now Tor is a short for the Onion router, which is a free and open source software that enables anonymous communications online. It works by bouncing internet traffic through a series of servers called relays that are operated by volunteers around the world. Each relay only knows the IP address of the previous and next relay on the chain, making it difficult for anyone to track the traffic back to its source. Now let's get into the main question, which is why is it called Onion on the dark web? The answer is actually quite simple. The dark web uses a naming convention called the Tor Hidden Server Protocol that we've mentioned before, which uses a system of randomly generated numbers and letters followed by Onion to create a unique URL for each hidden service. The Onion part of the URL is just a play of words. You see, just like how an Onion has multiple layers, the Tor network has multiple layers of encryption, which helps to keep the identity of users and websites on the network hidden. Interestingly, the Onion top level domain is neither officially recognized by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority or IANA, nor is it part of the traditional domain name system, also known as DNS. Instead, it is only recognized by the Tor network and is used exclusively on the dark web. So this means that Onion addresses cannot be accessed using regular web browsers or search engines. And there you have it. The reason why it's called Onion on the dark web is simply because it's a reference to the layers of encryption that help to keep the network and its users anonymous. The Tor hidden service protocol allows website owners to host sites on the dark web while maintaining anonymous, and the use of the non-standard TLD-like onion is just one of many ways that the dark web differs from the regular web. Now you might be wondering how to stay safe when accessing the dark web, and one of the answers is by using a reliable VPN. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, 
which is a neat little feature. And so North kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.